So today we're going to be checking out Emperor Absolu, which is going to be one of the first clones to market that is tackling <laughs> the almighty Creed Aventus Absolu. I'm sure you guys remember this uh, little news bomb that came out. And uh, yeah, essentially this is going to be impossible to find at some point, if not already right now, because this was actually a limited run. And I don't know the exact amount. I think that was something that was released publicly, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. But Aventus Absolu is uh, not something that's gonna be mass produced. And so I think already it's looking rough. Surprisingly, and I thought it was gonna be impossible to get, but it came into discounters pretty quickly for a price that was considerably below retail, but still pretty expensive. And so I was able to get a bottle. Everybody on my mailing list and texting list who wanted a bottle was able to get one because it popped up multiple times and sold out quickly. Fragrance Net, Fragrance Buy, they both got them in at some point. So it's been one that has actually been not as hard as I thought it would be to get. Like I thought I was going to be on eBay scouring and paying these overinflated prices because I still do love Aventus, even though a lot of people don't, and I had to have it at some point. It wasn't as hard as I was expecting, so I'm glad to have it. However, it's still expensive. Not everybody wanted to pay that price then. People definitely aren't gonna wanna pay it now as it's probably sold through, and now you're looking at some sketchiness. So this is where clones come into play. Clones, they get a bad reputation because it's taking away the art form of fragrances. And also, you know, unfortunately, sometimes fragrances are taking away all of the money that you might not need to be spending on $500 bottles, you know? So sometimes clones are nice to kind of get into. It can really, really add, act as a relief on your wallet if you're trying to play along in this hobby just like everybody else. That's where Parfums Vintage Emperor Absolute comes in. So if you guys are unaware of Parfums Vintage, they've been around for a while now. I think uh, when I was getting started on YouTube here in 2017, they were really, really gaining a lot of popularity. And they came to light because of Aventus, and they were offering clones that would focus on the certain specific batches. Now, I'm not gonna go into all of it here. It's something that's been talked about before, um, but you know, they were, really at kind of the top of the Aventus clone game. More expensive, but at more of a premium level. And they were still more affordable than Aventus itself. So, I mean, looking at the presentation here, that's impressive. Now, what's cool, and this is something I've never really seen done before, and I think this is kind of new. They weren't doing this back in the day. But when you go on and you buy this, you can select your bottle style. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Looks like 13 different styles. This is the Nero Gold bottle, um, but they've got like blue cracked color shift, blue metallic sapphire. They've got, I mean, a whole bunch of stuff. Tropical, that looks pretty cool. You can get on the website and play around a ton. They're all the same cost here, all the different styles, but then you got 50 ml, which is this, and 100 ml. So I thought that was pretty cool, something that you don't see often where you can customize how your bottle looks, but I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna break this one down. I've already broken down Aventus Absolu, but let's go ahead and talk about this one today. And we're just gonna kind of, you know, establish how close is this to Aventus Absolu, what's the performance like, how's the quality, and is this a good alternative if you can't or don't want to get Aventus Absolu. So I mean, when you open this stuff up, it is vibrant, strong, bright, and rich instantaneously and that is also very similar to Aventus Absolu and one of the things that I love about Aventus Absolu is that it does pay tribute a little bit to some of the older styles older bottles of Aventus which has changed drastically over the years you don't even necessarily have to hunt down and try those old bottles which are going to be way too expensive you can even see it through the progression of clones because Clones of Aventus in 2018 would smell different compared to clones of Aventus now because Aventus has changed and so the clone manufacturers, they'll probably have to change up their formulation as well so that way it stays accurate because if you're smelling new Aventus and old clones, it's gonna not really match up as well and people might think the clones aren't that accurate. It's just because things have changed over the years and so 
with the Aventus Absolute DNA, they're bringing some of that richness, that birch forward, kind of birch tar, somewhat smokiness back. Now, just, you know, to, to be fair, it's still not going to be smoky like those old, old bottles of Aventus once were. That's something that has been lost due to the restrictions that have been placed on fragrances over the many years now. But it does still offer a lot more of a, a tar, birch, woody kind of texture and bite that has been lost in standard Aventus uh, over the past several years. And it's also coming through here in this Parfums Vintage. It just has so much more of a, a power and so much more of a presence behind it, whereas standard Aventus and also some of its standard clones are going to be more focused on the citruses and the fruits first and foremost, um, the pineapple, uh, the bergamot, the apple, right, the black currant, all of that stuff is, is right at the top and it very much is a summer scent. You know, at one point, Aventus wasn't always considered a summer fragrance because it was so much more rich and smoky. Over the years, it's kind of become like a standard summer scent first and foremost because it's freshened up and lightened up so much. The musk is coming through a lot, the ambroxan, all of that stuff. Whereas this one, it's it's shifting its focus. Instead of it being all on the citrus and the fruits up top, you're getting more of the woods and, and you know things of that nature. So we'll take a look at what they have listed for notes here, and I'll let you look at the bottle while I read these off. We've got black currant, grapefruit, pineapple, bergamot, ginger, cardamom, citron, pink pepper, patchouli, vetiver, and cinnamon. And again, you know, when it comes down to it, a lot of those are pretty accurate. I'm not getting any cinnamon, really. Pink pepper, I'm definitely picking up on. Patchouli, for sure. And it's those notes there that are kind of adding to that heaviness. And then you see, like, the black currant, the pineapple, grapefruit, bergamot, things of that nature. And, of course, you still pick up on that stuff, and it's providing that fresh balance. It's just not at the forefront like standard Aventus. For most people, I would say for probably 96% of people, 97, 98% of people, I would say that Aventus Absolute or Absolute Aventus is not worth it. It's just too expensive. I mean, $500 plus dollars retail for this 75 ml. That is one thing that's cool. They brought back the 75 for this exclusive edition. Now they've gone over to 50 and 100. Before it was 75 and 120. So they've lessened the amount that you get and still increase the price so they brought this older style back that's cool but still it's not worth it for most people 98 percent of people or more don't go out there and buy a ventus absolute it, it probably just doesn't make sense that's where the clones come into play and also i would say that maybe even the clones might not be worth it for everybody either not everybody cares about Aventus the same way some of us do and the way i do you could just go for a standard clone from parfums vintage or from any other clone brand i suppose and get something that you'll like and that'll get you compliments but you might not be after this necessarily this is the perfect example of a true niche product okay not even just, you know, people are going to say, oh, it's a clone. I understand. I'm not using that definition, niche fragrance. I'm not necessarily saying that, but it truly is where it's a very, very targeted specific group of people that are going to be buying Absolute Aventus or any of its clones. And I think, you know, that is something that should be said. If you've been wearing Aventus since 2010 when it came out, or if you got into it a few years later, if you just got into it even, but if you really really like it in that way where it would make sense then that's that's fair but not everybody's like that the performance on this stuff is out of control it is so strong and if you're someone who is sensitive to strong fragrances and or maybe you just don't like how this smells or something and you get it and you spray it on you're gonna have a tough time you're gonna have to scrub it off with a vengeance like it's gonna take a heavy dose of soap and warm water and a lot of scrubbing. I mean, it doesn't really want to wash off easily. If you were to wear this through the shower and just do a very light, basic wash and not really scrub, it'll still be on when you get out. I mean, it's that type of strong. But for those of you who like it and those of you who like Beast Mode Sense, that is a huge selling point. Price point on this is 50 milliliters for $140, $139 for 50 ml. So again, it's expensive, right? But you're still coming in at below absolute Aventus. That's kind of what people are going to be, you know, concerned about here. Is it going to be worth it for everybody to go out and buy this? No, it's not. But if you do want one of the most luxurious experiences 
of Absolu Aventus without buying Absolu Aventus, this is kind of direct, the direction you would want to go. Great quality. I can't find anything wrong with it there in that regard. I mean, it's super expensive smelling, very premium, smooth, rich, creamy even. I mean, it's just Aventus in a completely different light. It's really something incredible. That's pretty much it. Parfums Vintage, Emperor Absolu, uh, fantastic stuff. If you want Absolu Aventus, but you don't want to spend $500, you don't have to. You could get this instead. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.